Hey y'all, so my last video that I did talking about body counts and why women should be more mindful of their bodies and why they shouldn't just be giving it out to anybody and everybody. And of course, you know, people aren't always going to agree. Some people are going to oppose. Some people are going to feel however which way that they want to, right? Especially when you hit a nerve, right? You're only going to hit a nerve if they're living a certain lifestyle and it makes them upset instead of receiving the truth like wow okay i need to grow in this aspect because you know what she's saying is actually right they rather get offended and attack you and i had a lady do this and um she made a point to tell me that she was having sex with several men that oh i'm but in her words i'm coming daily you know and then try to make it seem like i'm missing out on something or i'm just mad because i'm not getting something i'm like sis i, I just said that I was, i've been saving myself by choice for 10 years all right i'm single by choice trust and believe it's not hard to get a man men are everywhere you know men are everywhere if i wanted a boyfriend right now i could have one if i wanted to be having a sex life right now i could have one like i'm only exempt from that because i've removed myself for that because i deserve better and i want better and i want substance i want a man of substance i don't want a loose man i want a man who's gonna respect my morals and my values doing the same way with me a man who's gonna appreciate me for the woman that i am because guess what classiness never goes out of style every man wants a classy woman whether you want to believe it or not you can say whatever you want to you could think being sexually free with your body and sexually liberated okay cool you want to run with that go ahead and run with it sis but guess what you're hurting yourself and you're wasting your time because at the end of the day the men that you're giving your body to they're never going to value you especially when they know you move like that and you move like this and they know you think like this when they know that you don't value yourself you don't value your body and one day you will used up you will grow old and alone faster than i will you know granted some people will say oh i'm not gonna find a man who's gonna wait and wait for me until marriage but guess what there are men do love pure women men view women who walk in purity differently than they view the women of today the women who are out there just giving themselves up so the right man will wait he will wait because not solely because i'm saving myself is he gonna view me as his one day wife but it's gonna be because i just do it for him all right the way that i carry myself who i am just works for him right because it, it, it it's about so much more than just saving yourselves ladies for marriage yes you know that men love the idea that you are reserved and you're not giving of your body you're not just out here using yourself up right men love that but it's also gonna be in who you are how you carry yourself how you conduct yourself how you make him feel your morals and your values it's gonna be you setting yourself apart in all these different ways that's gonna make a man really want you for you and not just because you've been saving yourself right and men will wait again some people like to try to tell you i've had a male friend try to tell me that well, ain't no man gonna wait for you okay you why are you being salty why are you worried about me and my future love life you have nothing to do with it you're just my friend just because you're not that type of man and you don't know that type of men who want what i want is looking for what i want who's submitted to most high like i am you know that doesn't mean that he doesn't exist maybe i won't find him i've accepted the fact that i might not you know and that's okay i've accepted that for my life but guess what i'm still going to be open to it and i'm still wholeheartedly believing it because i know a, a good man is going to appreciate this good thing one day. A good man. And I mean, granted, again, I can have a man right now if I wanted to. Options do come my way. I'm just not interested. And I can't force a physical connection. If there's not one, there's not one. I'm not in the business of forcing that. I ain't saving myself from marriage to be giving my body to a man I'm not physically attracted to. Call it what you want. And I hate when people try to get too holy and wholesome for this topic because they act like just because you saved up, prayed up, ready to go up, that physical attraction shouldn't matter. Like, that's a lie. Let's let's stop it. Like, ain't nobody trying to go into a relationship anywhere talking about, well, I just want to be so attract unattracted to my one day spouse. Oh my God, I just want to make sure that not attractive in my eyes no i want to be excited for my wedding night all right i want to be excited to give up myself and to surrender submit myself to a worthy man right so understand y'all this is a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing ladies the right man will respect your walk your purity he's gonna respect all of who you are what you encompass like what you embody he's gonna love that about you because men are looking for that pure and wholesome thing Will it be easy waiting until marriage? No, it will not be. However, it will be so worth the wait. It is such a beautiful thing to just, and this is just me speaking to my sisters and Yahuwah who are submitted to the Most High, to walk in his ways and to truly do what he told you to do, to honor him with your life and with your body and to save yourself. You know how freeing that could how freeing you will feel like i've never experienced it yet because again i have not have yet to get there as far as getting married but 
it's a, it's a beautiful thing. It brings me so much peace just to know that that is my striving in life. That is my walk, no matter what happens, no matter what comes my way. Look, if 10 years came my way and I'm still walking this walk and I've endured 10 years of anything and everything and I'm still able to do this, nothing can mess me up. Nothing can knock me off my path, my path, right? So embrace this journey, y'all. Don't let anybody make you feel bad. Forget what these other people are saying and forget these crazy women that really think they're being promiscuous and letting themselves out and giving their body to all these different men. Forget what they have to say. They're going to try to throw shade on you anyways because they're jealous and they're hateful and they're spiteful and they're mad at your walk as if they couldn't have that same walk for themselves so instead of seeing where they can grow and develop and mature and evolve as a woman they rather just hate on you because you're the epitome of everything that they're not unfortunately and that's just the way that it is but don't lose sight of what you want sis walk up rightly and confidently in who you are Adjust your crown, all right? You are worth so much more. And I truly believe that when you carry yourself correctly and you work on all these different things about yourself, like, man, you a whole, you go, you're going to be a whole weapon out here for the right man. He can look at you like, whoa, she's everything I, that I could want. Even though we're not going to check off every single box, right, with somebody. None of us check off every single box with somebody. But the right man's going to look at you like, wow, like, she's got so many pros when it comes to her. Everybody's got a con or two, right? You got some type of thing that might not be, that they might feel like, oh, I don't know about that, but we can work on that, right? But as long as you have the correct things in place, you know, you work on yourself, your mind, body, and soul, you know, work on your physical appearance, take care of your body, your one and only temple, the one and only body that y'all will ever give you in this life. Um, work on your mental, work on your spiritual, your emotional, emotional intelligence is extremely attractive. And uh, and be able to know how to have these, how to have these conversations with men because good men, love to have be mentally stimulated they want to connect with you and it's only that emotional connection that he's going to fall in love with you anyways right all right so work on all these things continue to strive and push through and persevere and continue to save yourself sis because again in a in a in a promiscuous very promiscuous world where anything and everything goes out here you be the light you be the example you set the tone and you say no i see what's going on out here but i'm not them and i, and I promise you he's going to appreciate that about you no man wants a woman that seems to be everywhere. No man wants a woman that's like, oh, y'all come a dime a dozen. He's looking for that one beautiful, rare thing that he can call his own and that he can be proud to say that he is a man of. All right. Board of encouragement. Thank you for listening. Take care.